another episode of Hot and Healthy, and I'm delighted to have on the show Ghana Malsalati, who is a Qatari, an engineer, a vegan, and passionate about the change, which we're going to talk a little bit about in the show today. So welcome to the show, Ghana. I'm happy to be here. And I really want to spend the 10 minutes talking about you, because you're very interesting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and sure. how did you go from being, I guess, a pretty much common standard eating style person mm-hmm. to a vegan? I guess it, it's a journey that mm. I went through and I'm very proud of that journey because it took me from somewhere that I felt lost mm. and I feel like I've reached a place when I'm like really figured it out, figured out. like mm. I figured out everything. I feel like I know the answers mm. and um, mm. so I appreciate the whole journey. I went through ups and down but it, it, it was like a very positive change every time I've, I've changed mm. and evolved. So it's all started when I um, found a book in, when I was studying in the United States um, at Drexel University. I was like, found that book on, on Good Morning America, went and bought it, and then when I read it, like that's when it just initiated the whole thing. It just says a lot, it's a beauty detox book uh, mm. by Kimberly Snyder, and like it just initiated that kind of questioning in my mind. And mm. I just started questioning since that time, everything that I do in my life regarding my food, regarding the industry, regarding like, our culture and if we are if it's really culture like a lot of people like relate food to culture Mm -hmm. and i started questioning about like just just saying like oh does that really matter like does that really the way our ancestors lived or not because Mm. that way we see nowadays it's like oh the meats like when you talk about the meat and chicken and, and 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 a lot of the animal products a lot of the people comes to you and say, oh, that's how our grandparents lived and that's how they survived. But then when you look like in the books and the literature and, and you talk to people who lived in the 50s and 60s here in Doha, like you're gonna find out like meat wasn't accessible at mm. that time. So it wasn't part of the cultural tradition or something like that. So there's a lot of things that are hidden that I feel like I've be- like I became aware of mm. recently, okay. which I feel sad a bit because I feel why nobody told me about this before mm. but then i feel happy because i'm still like 24 years old so like mm. i have like really a long, long time. A, a long time to really dig deeper in it mm. but i feel sad for the people who don't know about it that's okay. why i'm here today to or actually i'm doing a lot of the like raising awareness in general mm. that's what I, that's why that that's why it's my passion because i feel i wanted to I knew something, so it's it's my responsibility to tell it to people because mm. I know it now. Mm. They don't know it, so yeah, I just feel like responsible. I feel like I have to say it. I have to share my experience. I feel amazing. Why why shouldn't you feel amazing? And you tapped into something really important, which is I feel amazing, mm. and a lot of people don't feel amazing. They feel okay. Yeah. But they don't feel amazing. Exactly. And they can feel amazing. But perhaps their choices are getting in the way of being able to feel amazing. I guess it's uh, it's more of because I didn't know that this feeling that I have now exists. Mm. But once you know, going back is really like the there is no going there back. is no going back. But yeah. but when you go back, you will know that there's something missing. So right. you're gonna mm. thrive for that kind of feeling. Um, it's not about just feeling amazing because I feel like God created us here on Earth to feel amazing and be happy and be live peacefully and, mm. and, and have a an positive effect on each other and influence each other positively, mm. rather than what we're seeing nowadays is more of a, a routinic uh, uh, like scene that everybody's doing, like because this guy is doing this and this guy is doing that, let's, so let's follow this yeah. same kind of routine with, with our food, with our you know, uh, lifestyle, I guess. Mm. And um, yeah, I mean, it's all about how you feel at the end. If you feel great, why do you wanna? Like, I feel, I have a lot of people who went on and read a lot of books, and are people who went through like that kind of transition, then went back mm-hmm. because they didn't feel great at the end of the day. Okay. But it just, it doesn't matter what you're eating. But if you feel great, I feel like that's like keep that. doing it. Keep, if you feel great. Keep doing it. That's why I'm keep I I think it's sustainable for my case. Right. I mean, I made the transition to veganism back in 2014. So it's been almost like two years and a half now. Um, and I never went to it because I just want to be vegan. I went to it for experimenting. Okay. And I never went back. Ah. So that's, you see, like I, 
I didn't force it on me. Mm. I've, I've kept it organically, you know, growing inside of me. And mm. like, it just started growing and growing and growing. And I never said I want to be vegan mm. like forever, but I just, I'm not going back. No, like, I, I don't I feel like going back. It. I don't feel like I, I need to go back. So that's like, that's, you don't feel like you're missing yeah. anything? Because I've done it like so naturally slow and let it all just fit in the gaps, like yeah. fill in the gap without me like forcing like the change. Mm -hmm. I, I don't crave anything. Mm. I, 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 I love and I, I, I crave what I eat right now. Mm. And it's just, I guess, how you, how you introduce it to your lifestyle. Yeah. I wanted it for, for, for it to be sustainable. Mm. I didn't want it for a trend or I didn't want it for a period of time in my life. No, I, when I make a change, I want it to be like for the, for the long, yeah. you know, um, so was it difficult? I mean, have you have you found it difficult going from where you were to where you are now? And I guess it was naturally because it was naturally done and, and organically, like you know, the, 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 I guess the evolution of my diet or my lifestyle went on a very slow pace mm -hmm. um, and well studied. Like I studied every every move that I was doing. So, mm -hmm. but it was done at the right time. Mm -hmm. So I, it did, it wasn't something that I was like, oh, I should go back or. I'm craving this, I'm craving that, mm. because I I didn't just wake up one morning and said, oh, I'll be vegan today. Yeah. It went through a very like easy, organic transition. And that's how I want everybody to do it. Mm. And I don't like the people when they say, oh, go on this trend for that much, or 22 days, one day, or five day, or six day, or seven day. It's, I felt it, I've done it because I wanted to be less done. Mm. Some people do it because they just want to try it. Mm. So it's, everybody's different, but I feel like the best way to sustain is to do it that way, is to, to introduce things slowly, mm. take your time, believe in what you're doing, yeah. and then it will just it will just fall in as a lifestyle. That's why when people ask me, is it hard? Is it? I was like, no, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just living my life eating food, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. That's it, I'm not dying, I'm not like starving, I'm not like craving anything, it's just food. Mm. Like nothing, like I don't feel even, that I'm missing anything, you know? Yeah. So that's why I can go out, eat with people, and still like, because I'm like, you know, I'm used to it. So very soon, you're gonna be opening a vegan restaurant here in Qatar. How did that come about? Um, I guess I've been working on this for the past year um, to create that kind of space for people who are like me, hmm. um, which I think there's a lot of people, you know, who are out there who are really waiting for this to be happening in the region. Yeah. Um, at the same time, like I want to create a place where you can feel and 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 you know get something out of it, and then like you just don't go to a restaurant and eat and leave. Mm -hmm. I want people to actually nourish their body in a different way okay. than what whatever people like are saying. Because I feel like there's a lot of uh, um, healthy promotion, like you know the, the word healthy is everywhere nowadays, like mm -hmm. healthy, healthy, healthy. But I want people to switch on a different kind of healthy, you know, which is like more natural, mm -hmm. organic pure food great nothing too complicated mm -hmm. nothing too like oh i don't know what is what is this like no you know exactly what are the ingredients and i guess we're missing that here in the in the, in the region we're missing um, that in a lot of places but it's extra special to exactly have it here in exactly and it, you mentioned i think we were talking before about um it's going to have workshop space definitely so it's a vegan cafe it's a juice bar it's a healthy community it's more of a mm. community where we are have workshops events uh just bringing people in and mm. welcoming in like welcoming people to have a bit more of a that kind of you know a, a growing society we want to grow mm. together so once you bring people in you're just gonna keep growing so that's mm. how we want to we want to do it I guess nice. uh, but at the same time it's it's we're we're trying to focus on the bigger picture behind that restaurant mm. it's not just a cafe that's just like a regular cafe mm. it's it, there's a, a cause behind it, there's a message, and it's gonna create the change, because because once that open, I'm sure a lot of people will be, like, yeah, we wanna do it, we wanna yeah. do it. So like, just imagine what is the market gonna be like in a couple of years in Doha. Um, I have a lot of people who are just like, can't wait for this, and I can't wait myself. I mm. can't wait for the day to open the door and be like, hello everyone, come Yay. on in, you know? Because- Is somebody yeah. who's a meat eater and not interested in becoming a vegan, are they gonna feel welcome? Definitely, uh, I mean, what are we saying? Like we live in Doha, when like most of the people are, uh, uh, ninety-eight percent is like meat. Like the meat consumption is ninety-eight percent in the country. <clears throat> so I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of potential. Mm. 
But that, those are the target. So they're not going to feel awkward. It's not, not like anti-meat, can't no, come. No, no, no. Just it's like exploring. We're not experience. saying like vegan, 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 vegan. Mm. It's just restaurants. Mm. The food is vegan. Yeah. But the option is not there. Like when they're looking through it, it's like, oh, where is the okay. meat? Like there's no meat. And that's why a lot of people would come in and say, oh, let's do vegetarian. Mm. Why not doing vegetarian? Why no? Why going extreme vegan? But then that's the thing. Like when you have a vegetarian option. Everyone will go to that vegetarian option and leave all the other vegan option because that's the X, that's the cheese. Yeah. So I want to create that kind of standard where it's mm. like it's vegan and we want to create the change. I want, I want people to try new things mm. and they're going to feel amazing because mm. the whole space is going to be engineered to to really give you that kind of vibe of like being in the nature, jungle, mm. um, you know, recycled wood and, and by the great uh, uh, packaging and, right. and juices, desserts. Making me hungry. Uh, a lot of things. Yes, I'm hungry now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a bigger, bigger message. And I, I'm, I'm actually really proud and honored to be like opening it in Doha mm. because I'm, I feel like I'm doing something for the people. Right. At the same time, the country is really like, like backing me up really great because mm. I feel like there's a lot of support in the country mm, and they for vegan for somebody who's vegan mm. it's really nice to see the support because that's the mm. really I guess um, uh, very small like I guess like point that people would sometimes not really take it seriously mm -hmm. but I'm seeing amazing like support from the people and the community and so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it I'm just happy I feel like I've this step has to be done either way mm. and um, it's the time and thank you for taking that step as well it's hard because it's a bold and brave it is step. it is hard but then when i see people around me telling me yes 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 we want it and i said oh no like they are the audience is there yeah. but for us in doha we are a bit quiet about things mm. like even if you want something you know we don't we're not like saying it like in the mm. public okay. so but once you know, when you see engaged in the community, you're going to see like a lot of people like, mm. but it's about creating the change. It's about yeah. creating the change, creating the space yeah. for, for healthy eaters, healthy seekers, people who are just like wanted to evolve and change their lives. Mm. And it's a place to transform. It's a stage to I transform, like I guess. That. It's a place where you can go and have the options. Mm -hmm. You want to create the options. There's no option in Doha. That's the option. Mm. You know, is there a vegan restaurant? Yes, there's one vegan restaurant. There's an option, you know? Nice. Okay, should I eat meat or should I eat vegan today? Can I eat vegan? Yeah, Why it's not? an experience. Why, Why not? not? Absolutely. Why not? Try I it like out and that. see how it goes. So if somebody was interested in maybe transitioning from where they are now to more yeah. vegan, mm -hmm. if that's such a thing, you can be more vegan. I guess eating perhaps more plant-based. More plant-based. Let's take it yes. that way. Um, what would you suggest that they do as a first step, perhaps? I guess it's... Um, I, as I said, I mean, as I did it for myself, I took it slowly. I, I didn't do it like in one day, woke up and said, oh, I'll be vegan today. Mm. But it's more of of where they see themselves like in the, the next couple of years or so. Like, they, do they want to be like, you know, do they want to feel healthy? Do wanna, they want to feel like great? What Like, what are their goals? And then once you define those goals, then it's all easy mm. because the change or people becoming vegan it's, it's not just about becoming vegan it's about the process mm -hmm. because you don't want to just be vegan for a day and then it's not about just being vegan it's about being compassionate about you know right. everything around you and being aware being conscious of what goes into your body mm -hmm. and and why this choice is better than that choice and when you're making a vegan choice like to, like uh, an option when an option is there and you're making that choice it's bigger than just the food because it's affecting the environment, it's affecting the community, it's affecting the industry. So there's a lot of things that goes into it. And that's what I want to bring people in. I want to show people that small decisions can make a big, big impact. Right. And um, so yeah, transitioning definitely start from where, just going back to nature, I guess. Mm. That's how I did. Going back to the fruits, mm. going back to the vegetables, including more of these, that's it. And it's mm. just gradually gonna, you're gonna like the craving is gonna go from the sugar and the white flour is gonna fade away and then the the vegetables and the fruits gonna uh, alkalize the body yeah. so then you're gonna have like a, a bit more of a you know the craving is gonna be on the on the vegetable side rather than on the but that's I guess that's the normal way of doing it because your body's trying to de detoxify all yeah. of that you know toxins and heavy metals and then your body's gonna crave what it's meant to crave mm. 
which is the fruits and the veggies and the whole food. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, concentrating on the whole food, we have amazing and abundance of like, you know, fruits options. and vegetables and options out there. Mm. And it's it's really nice. Just go to the market and look at the fruits and vegetables side and you, your eyes going to go like, you know, it's going to blink. And yeah. that's the thing because we are human are meant to eat plants. And we believe that because in our religion as, as Muslim, we have in our Quran, like it says, says a lot like the the plants is mentioned more than the animal even though like animal protein or animal like product is 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 you know is available for everyone but i feel like there's a lot of things in the literature that mm. says the like that shows the importance of following a plant-based diet right not Focus, just like not just vegan but more plant-based you know mm. having more of a the plants because that's how you heal your body that's how you mm. Because God created these things on earth for us to heal our body with and we keep going for the other thing mm. and that's why we're getting sicker and sicker as a community yeah and we keep investing money in that but then when you go back to healthy mm. or not healthy just natural, natural. way of eating um, if you don't get sick and you get more energy and you you thrive in life rather than you just uh, rather than survive. Then rather survive, yeah, exactly. Because we're not here that. to suffer. Mm. I feel like a lot of people think that we are on earth, God brought us here to be to suffer and then go to the second life. But I feel a different way. Mm. I feel like we, should, we could be happy. You know, we could be happy, feel, feel amazing, live a nice life. It doesn't have to be like, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, a, a hard, I guess, uh, a process for us. Right. It can I mean, be easy and it joyful. It can be easy, and that's how I want to promote it. And it's easy. It is it's easy. easy. We love it. Well, you do make it sound easy, and I'm very, very grateful that you said yes to yeah. being a guest on Hot You're and welcome. Healthy. Appreciate and it. for those people who are listening to this episode and watching this episode, we had some hot and healthy challenges on the show. <laughs> the lights are hot, and the conversation's yes. hot, and we're healthy, and it actually made the cameras overheat which is awesome. So we've had to record this three times. So thank you so much for being patient. Thank you. thank you for saying yes. Appreciate it. And for the listeners out there, be sure to tune in to another episode of Hot and Healthy. Go to Snap TV, find out who else has been on the show. Go to NicoleVanHadam.com and download your free tools. And remember to be hot and healthy. This episode of Hot and Healthy is presented to you by me, Nicole Van Hattem, holistic success coach and best-selling author, and brought to you by Snap TV. Tune into the show and listen to the people and practices that help you to think, eat, thrive.